All right, in the last segment, we talked about the existing Honda head and its spring-loaded poppet valves and its camshaft and its counterweight and all of its parts, which are numerous. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, the valve spring, seven, eight, the retainers, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve parts that are all moving. Uh, I, there could be there could be additional parts in there that are moving. With the glide valve engine technology, we only have three moving parts, and I wanted to show that. Uh, this is the main moving part, which is the crank, and you can see the crank as I turn it. This is your other moving part, is a valve, and you've got your rocker arm that connects right here to your crank and pushes the valve in and out as the crank turns. So there's only three moving parts to the whole to the whole head design. Very simple, very straightforward. These don't have to be hand assembled. Uh, they could be assembled robotically. Uh, the valves slide in from the end, like this. Okay, from the end of the head. So you don't have to take the head off to replace the valves or one of the valve rings. And the design also of the ring that's on this valve is uh, just like a piston ring. It goes around the piston. We've had piston rings for for us, you know, years and years and years, and they they seal beautifully, and so do these valve rings. They seal really well. So that's why we used them. They're so simple. So you've only got three moving parts with the glide valve engine, and uh, that that also saves friction, which in turn improves fuel economy.